Hello, I'm a computer illustrator and flash tutor, Bill Dallas Lewis, over here at Silly Billy's World. And uh, we're going to do Animation 101, everything that you wanted to know about your basic flash animations. These are key concepts as you move ahead into the land of animation in flash. And this is what I teach all of my students in my one-on-one -on -one sessions all around the United States. Okay, so let's get started. When you start animating in Flash, it's very important to deal with the concept of keyframes. Keyframes. Keyframes are important frames. And many times they're frames where things are going to change in your Flash program. Um, it could be animation, it could be action script, it could be frame labels, it could be just changing images around. But keyframes are very important frames. And, and let's talk about where keyframes comes from, or the concept. Um, in animation in Flash, there are three types of animation. There's frame by frame anim animation, motion animation, and shape tweening. And we're going to be talking about motion tweens. Uh, and, and then you're going to hear the terms in betweening and thus the term tweening. Now in my flash movie right here you can see that I'm running at 12 frames per second. So in the old days of Disney if you were making a cartoon that would be at 24 frames per second and they had two types of artists. They had the keyframe artist, and the keyframe artist would draw the important frames. So if this character down here is in frame one, and this little gray thing is supposed to be a baseball, I want this individual to throw the baseball in one second. So in frame one, the ball would be here, and in frame 24, the ball would be out here. So the keyframe artist, if this were Mickey Mouse, would draw frame one, and frame 24. Then they had these people that would have to draw all of the frames in between. That would be just the that would be just like the slow movement. Let me select this. That would be drawing all of these pictures in between to make that arm slowly go forward and release the ball. These people to to this day are called in betweeners and it's a they don't get paid much money but that's what they do thus the term tweening now in flash you can tween five things that I can think of you can tween motion you can tween a shape that means start it small make it big and you can tween rotation opacity and change of color those are the things that we can tween in Flash unless you get into action script, and then that's a whole different ball game. Now there are rules to tweening. The rules are step one. Now I'm telling you, these five steps are essential. And if you mess up, the Flash God is gonna climb up your butt. So the first thing you want to do is to create a symbol. You, you can only tween, you only want to tween graphic symbols, movie clips, or button symbols. I rarely tween button symbols. So you create your symbol, bring it to the stage, insert a keyframe, you, uh, you go down the road in time and insert a keyframe. Then you change the symbol, that would be make it big, make it small, change the opacity, move, to, move it to another part of the stage. Then you select the frames that are affected, and then you create motion tween. Those are the five steps of tweening. And for my students, I tell them that you're going to have to tween about 30 times before it becomes second nature. So let's do some tweening. Let's do some tweening. To start tweening, the first thing I'm going to do, all I want to do is do a basic tween. So I'm just going to make a circle. And all I want to do is make it go from one end of the stage to the other. So step one is I right click on it, I convert it to the symbol. I'm going to call it G underscore ball. 
And when I name my symbols, I call them G underscore B underscore or MC underscore so that they end up in the library all together by category. So G underscore ball. And notice I get a keyframe right up here in frame one. Now I go down the road in time, insert keyframe. Then I change the object, and in this case, I'm just going to move it to the other side of the stage. Now, I click in this thing right here. I call it a frame block. It turns black because I want to select these frames so that I can tell the Flash God, Hey, Mr. Flash God, these are the frames that are going to be affected. And then I right-click in the blackness, and the first option up top is Create motion tween and if you're successful <coughs> you'll see an arrow up here um, if you see dashes or something that means that most likely you have multiple objects in that layer you can only or the flash god only wants you to animate one object in one layer so now if I hit enter on the keyboard uh oh I click on the tie there you go there's my tween right there that's my tween Okay, I'm going to call this layer motion 